Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 15th of April. And by golly, a significant severe weather threat is coming up for all of Alabama later today and tonight. So let's get right to it. Uh, first off, some Skycam shots early this morning. Look at uh, downtown Gadsden up in Etowah County in northeast Alabama. There's the Auburn Skycam in Lee County. And over on the western side of the state, that's the uh, Demopolis Skycam. And uh, so far, things are quiet across our state. But boy, oh boy, you see that in mid-April, look out. A stacked low is over Kansas uh, with uh, heavy snow falling back in the cold air, blizzard conditions, and severe convection in the warm sector. Doesn't get much more classic than that. There's the surface chart. And again, underneath that, uh, the surface low is well under 1,000 millibars. And uh, look at all the snow going on north of that thing. Pretty amazing. And, of course, a rough night last night. At least one fatality in Oklahoma from tornadoes. And uh, the convection is still ongoing. That's the uh, Jackson radar this morning lighting up like a Christmas tree at 5 o'clock. Uh, the convection for now is linear from near Ruston, Louisiana, all the way up to Memphis. And uh, within that, we note even a couple of tornado warnings. And, uh, again, it's going to be a, a rough day today. Uh, this is the dew point gradient across the deep south and you know we're just going to start to look out the window and actually watch instead of staring at these models and we've got the surface plots on there now uh, the birmingham dew point is 52 at uh, at five o'clock tuscaloosa's dew point is 55 but you go west to greenville mississippi and the delta the dew point is 66 uh the dew point down at uh, vicksburg is 67 macomb mississippi 68 and baton rouge 70 and that's the air that should be advecting up in here today. And the big question is, can it get here? And with a system like that, I think it can. But the, the biggest question involves instability. The models are not very bullish, I'll tell you that now. But, uh, you know, that, that's going to be the, the battleground today. Here's the watch warning map. Blizzard warnings for parts of Kansas and Nebraska. Goodland, Kansas was hammered yesterday and last night. And, of course, a lot of wind advisories on both sides of this thing. Uh, all of uh, uh, Birmingham and Huntsville's counties are in a wind advisory for today. And there's the uh, ongoing tornado watch uh, that was issued this morning at about 2.15. It's in effect until 10. Uh, that goes up to the Alabama-Mississippi border. And uh, that includes uh, West Tennessee, much of north and west Mississippi, southeast Arkansas, and north Louisiana. And uh, there's the convective outlook today, a moderate risk. That's the enhanced risk over a pretty good chunk of Alabama and Mississippi. Uh, the extreme northern counties are not in that, and, and Mobile is not in that, but much of the state is. And, of course, surrounding that, you've got the standard risk all the way from the Gulf Coast uh, up into the uh, St. Louis area. And there's the tornado probabilities, and, and understand that that's pretty high. Uh, you know, tornadoes are tiny, but what, what that means is the chance of a tornado passing within uh, 25 miles of any given point is 15%. That might sound low to you, but for a tornado, that's pretty high. And uh, we'll be watching radars carefully today. There's the rain with this. Uh, this is valid through uh, Tuesday evening of next week. Uh, rain amounts vary from 2 inches up in the uh, Tennessee Valley down to uh, a quarter inch around Dothan. But we're expecting rainfall amounts of uh, 1 to 2 inches around here. Let's take a look. This is the GFS, the OZ run at uh, 1 o'clock today. There's the upper low near uh, Springfield, Missouri, and Wichita, Kansas. And down below that, the surface low is underneath that, 996 millibars. And uh, out ahead of that, there's the convection. This is the current CAPE uh, view coming from uh, the SBC Mesoscale site. Surface-based instabilities are at uh, 2,500 joules down in South Louisiana and 3,000 joules down in the Gulf. And uh, what we note there's actually a little bit of shower activity in Alabama this morning, but not much. A uh, little elevated convection trying to get going. But, again, that's going to be the thing to watch today. If you want to watch it yourself, just go to the SPC Mesoanalysis site and watch the capes. Can we get that up in here? If we can, it could be a really, really rough day. If not, maybe it'll be a marginal day. But one way or the other, dynamics can overcome thermodynamics. We all know that. Uh, there's the uh, current STP, the uh, significant tornado parameter. 
And uh, we've got uh, six units over southeast Texas and five units down around Baton Rouge. And that's, of course, where basically you got the best combination of uh, instability and shear. Let's go to the RPM. This is uh, kind of see what it's doing with this thing. This is at uh, – now, this is interesting. This is at 10 o'clock this morning. It's got some really nasty-looking convection coming through northwest Alabama at that point pretty early this morning. That's not the main line, though. At 2 o'clock, that initial batch fizzles out, and new storms reform back in Mississippi. And, again, those are kind of cellular-looking, and those could uh, be tornadic. Five o'clock, those are into Alabama, and that's when things could be shaken and bacon here. Uh, again, those storms could produce all modes of severe weather. Large hail, damaging wind, tornadoes. Eight o'clock, it's still going. I mean, I know a lot of things are happening. There's a big concert in uh, Tuscaloosa tonight. Uh, you know, I think the concert is scheduled for 7.30. The weather should begin to improve in Tuscaloosa around 8, if this is right. Should be coming right through Birmingham. We got the Barons in town uh, opening weekend. Um, you know, it, it's going to be a rough ride there for Birmingham around eight o'clock, and then at midnight, we've still got storms over there along the U.S. 431 corridor in East Alabama. But for everybody else, it's all over. All right, this is the instability coming off the RPM, and, and there's just not much, and that's your limiting factor right there. This is valid at uh, seven, or I'm sorry, eight o'clock this evening. The really good capes, the, the over 2,000 joules are down south. There's a little sliver of 1,500 uh, joule cape over northwest Alabama. But again, that is the deal that might hopefully keep us from having, you know, a red letter day here. But that's, and, and every other model is like that. I, I took some time with AWIPS this morning and looked at uh, multiple models, and they're not very bullish on instability. So just maybe that will prevent this from getting out of hand. But again, uh, we sure can't guarantee that because dynamics can overcome the lack of thermodynamics. Helicity values are, are very high. Uh, and again, the really extreme numbers are near Chicago, but again, sometimes, you know, numbers like that can totally disrupt the updraft. But that's certainly enough for tornado activity. That's a little concerning. Look at the STP tonight coming off the uh, uh, NAM. Uh, boy, that, that those numbers are in excess of seven units. And... Uh, you know, that, that's that's trouble right there. And the Craven Brooks Index is, again, off the chart. So we'll just sit back and watch the radar now. We'll watch the uh, observations and get our eyes off these models and look out the window and see how it goes. But in terms of timing, again, probably uh, we'd say now noon to midnight. We have to open up that big 12-hour window. Uh, West Alabama, maybe late morning. But certainly, uh, you know, the core of this thing will be probably 3 to 9 o'clock, but overall noon to midnight. And I can't give you specific arrival times because initially the storms will be cellular, not linear. But the end of this thing uh, will, will be tonight. And then tomorrow we're, we're in great shape. Uh, this is the uh, GFS valid at uh, 1 o'clock. And the sky should become sunny. Uh, the high probably around 70 in most spots. Just a, a gorgeous day. Uh, the, the GFS is at 70. The NAM is at 69. Sunday, picture perfect uh, for anything you want to do outside. Running of the air is 499 at uh, Talladega. Monday of next week, we stay dry. High uh, at or just over 80. Same thing Tuesday. You know, moisture is increasing, but there's this ridging that should keep us dry. And there's Wednesday. And look, at the, the, clearly the GFS is trending farther north with everything. The ridge is farther north. The westerlies are farther north. And that means everything will be drier and warmer. Uh, that's right. Low to mid 80s, muggy showers would be north of here. Thursday, everything's still north. And then finally, Friday, a week from today, the, the storms try and creep down toward the Tennessee Valley. And then on Saturday, the 23rd, uh, kind of showery. Still, though, the heaviest rain would be north of here. But th this could be a flooding issue for areas north of Alabama with a stall front on the western edge of the uh, or the southern edge of the westerlies down there. So something to think about. Later this month on the 29th, still got a ridge over Florida. Pretty uh, dandy trough to the north. Batch of storms coming through. And on the 30th, dry air tries to nose in here but that's all out there in the land of voodoo now uh, that's it for the weather extreme video today we'll have notes on the blog more than likely we can't crank out another one this afternoon because we should be in the midst of a severe weather outbreak at that point so more than likely my next video will be monday morning by seven brian peters we'll have the updates uh, tomorrow and sunday so uh, stay with us on the blog and on uh, abc 3340 for the latest thanks for watching have a wonderful day and god bless 
thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.